In this video, we're going to install MySQL uh, database server on our Amazon um, EC2 instance. And uh, to install MySQL server, we'll use the uh, same commands like sudo yum. And then uh, instead of updating, we'll this time type install and then mysql-server and hit enter. Uh, this will launch installation process and it will prompt you with uh, some questions uh, which you can answer by typing one of the characters. For example, it says install size is 80 megabytes. Is this okay? I'll say yes. Okay, so now my installation, uh, my SQL installation is complete. We can uh, now start it and I will use the same command sudo service uh, sudo service uh, mysql d start. Okay, so we are going to start mysql service. Uh, it's started up. Very good. So now uh, we will need to do some um, configuration. And to configure mysql we will uh, use sudo forward slash uh, user, but it's not user USR, which is short for user, and then forward slash bean mysql underscore secure underscore installation. Okay, sudo user bean mysql secure installation. Okay, I hit enter and it wants me to enter current password for a uh, root user. I don't have it because this is my first installation, so I will type none or hit enter. Yes, okay, so um, I hit enter um, and now it wants me to set up root password for user. I will say yes and it wants me to type a root password. I will type password I think I made a mistake. Try again. Uh, re enter. Okay, remove anonymous user. Yes. Disallow root login remotely. Yes. I don't want anyone to connect to my SQL database remotely yes remove this database yes i uh, reload our uh, privilege tables now basically um do we want changes made to take an effect immediately um yes okay all done um we have set up our mysql database and it should be now uh, running to test if MySQL is running and if the password we've created for um, root user is correct, we can uh, do uh, by typing MySQL dash u, which stands for user, and then we will type username root space dash p, and then hit enter. P stands for password, and then it wants us to type password. So I will type password. I have created for the root user when MySQL prompted me to. And now I hit enter and I'm connected to MySQL. So if I um, look up databases, show databases, I have default databases for this installation. And this is it, we're connected. So I can uh, exit MySQL now and continue. And the next step for us is to um, install a PHP.